Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen at New Hope Chiropractic. Is there a connection between headaches and sinusitis? Well, the connection between our sinuses and our headaches is actually well established. But what about the relationship between the neck pain and our sinuses? Is, really, is there a connection? Well, it's a, sinusitis is very common in the spring, and it's when pollen counts are really high in times when uh, the cold and flu run rampant and are commonplace. It usually manifests itself with a clear runny nose and pain all over the affected sinuses and other histamine-related symptoms like watery eyes, sneezing, being all stopped up. The Mayo Clinic states that at least two of four primary symptoms of chronic sinusitis need to be present to confirm a diagnosis. Thick, discolored nasal discharge or drainage down the back of the throat, like a post-nasal drip, for example, nasal obstruction due to congestion that interferes with nasal breathing, pain, tenderness, and swelling in the eyes, face, nose, and forehead, and four, a reduced sense of taste and smell in adults and a cough in children. Other chronic sinusitis symptoms can include ear pain, jaw, tooth pain, cough, which is often worse at night, sore throat, bad breath, fatigue, irritability, nausea, and neck pain. And acute sinusitis has similar signs and symptoms uh, when compared with uh, regular sinusitis, but they are short-lived. And symptoms that warrant a primary care consideration include like high fever, severe headaches, mental confusion, visual changes, double vision, blurriness, passing out, <laughs> profound neck pain, st stiffness, and things like that. So for chronic sinusitis, some of the reason, reasons that um, that can exist and that can cause this are nasal polyps, having a deviated septum, or uh, other medical complications like cystic fibrosis, um, gastrointestinal reflux, HIV, other autoimmune-related symptoms and diseases. All these things can block the nasal passages. So uh, risk factors are uh, nasal polyps, deviated septums, asthma, aspirin sensitivity due to respiratory problems, immune system disorder, hay fever, pollutant exposure, air pollution, cigarette smoke, these can definitely be risk factors as well. And sinusitis, chronic sinusitis can be dangerous because it can cause things like meningitis, infection, migrates uh, to the bones like osteomyelitis or the skin, like cellulitis, for example. Sense of smell loss, um, vision problems, even something as severe as, as blindness too. So many are not aware that neck pain and stiffness jaw pain, tooth pain, for example, are symptoms of chronic sinusitis. Conditions like this are a reminder that it's important for both um, doctors and patients to be aware of all the symptoms, and even if they seem like they're not necessarily connected. So that's um, why we here at New Hope Chiropractic um, look at the whole picture, the big picture, and we're trained to look for non-mechanical causes for neck pain. When a patient comes in, it makes it easier if the patient is honest and forthcoming with all their symptoms, even if they don't seem particularly relevant. But the good news is that uh, chiropractors are trained to manage chronic sinusitis and can offer people advice on lifestyle changes that can reduce the risk of the infection uh, recurring. And also, uh, chiropractors often work with allied healthcare professionals too, and antibiotics or other measures are needed in extreme cases and chiropractic adjustments of the neck and also the sinuses can help um, relieve sinus obstruction and prevent it from uh, prevent the sinuses from uh, getting infected and uh, uh, you can check out more videos on this topic at newhopechiropractic.com and as always we're available for a complimentary consultation to see if um, chiropractic is a good fit for you and in many cases we can uh, provide some relief patients with sinus infections and sinus blockage. So with that, I wish you a healthy day and we'll see you next time.